Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here, and this is another episode of the Journey for the Enchanted Sword RPG. What I was about to say was, I, I, I goofed. I goofed real good. I got a little trigger happy when um, going through my raw footage, and I accidentally deleted the episode of me going through the first half of the Golden Dungeon. So... I am going to quick run through everything that you need to successfully navigate it, but it's not going to be as successful, or it's not going to be as good of a view as you're going to get when you're actually in the game itself. So there's going to be a few things that are slightly changed. There'll be a few mobs that drop on you out of nowhere. You guys will be fine. If you've made it this far, I have confidence you can navigate the map just fine. So also off camera, I did a little bit of exploration and adventuring just to get some other stuff. I took off the heart pants. I mean, that's what gives me, like, super health, but just for the time being, I'm keeping them off. No mas pantalones. So, to navigate this successfully, you will have needed the aqua cap. You'll need the aqua die cap. The aqua cap that you got from the emperor's vault, or the king's vault. And you'll have needed a, a pressure plate, which gets placed right here. Since I can't show you that, you'll just have to believe me. So, in we go. In order to actually navigate this successfully, you really need this aqua cap, or this, yeah, the aqua cap, otherwise you're going to drown about halfway in. And that's, that might be a little dramatic. Actually, no, you could probably make it without the aqua cap, but it really helps you in this map. So the first thing you'll do is you'll come in through here, and you'll come into this nice big open area. Um, there's no secrets here, nothing, it's just a giant open area. Now you got this here. You have a safe zone and you have a red zone. Now this is one of the parts that I cannot simulate for you. You notice how everything's on fire here. Well, these things are shooting out, um, ah, God, I can never went there. Basically they're shooting out fire. You have to successfully navigate this. Yellow is safe, red is danger. That's where the flames are gonna shoot from. If you fall, don't worry. Water at the bottom, go up through there. And I do apologize for the construction noises. We're, oh crap. not doing this right now Ooh, come on frame rate come on frame rate stick it out stick it out you got this come on frame rate come on frame rate there we go there it is game mode adventure like i said if you fall don't worry you'll be fine i only fell because i lagged out so you have to successfully navigate this while fire is shooting at you when you come through here there'll be a pressure plate here you hit that it stops everything even hear it. That'll stop all the fire. So we're just going to come on down here. Now this one's a tricky one. There'll be a button. Ah, uh, did the button already despawn? Shoot. Point is, there's going to be... There's going to be a button in here. On the back of one of these walls or on the ceiling. I don't remember which one. I think it's on the back of the w one of these uh, pillars. You hit the button, I think that's it. I think you hit the button and it'll just like allow you to get through. I think. Anyways, let's come to here. Now, as you can see, the t this is your lever combination. One, three, four, five, six. Now the trick is getting that lever combination. That's your combination right there. Three, one, and then the number six. So one, three, and six. You can tell by the torches. You open up here. There'll be mobs. You fight the mobs. You come into this room right here. You're going to follow the red above your head. And this one's kind of tricky. You click. You're basically going to follow the red path. So follow whichever sign is directly. Again, sorry about the construction. Whatever is directly above you. You get through this whole puzzle. There'll be a switch over there, and I will actually quick show you that after I solve this damn thing myself. Oh, yeah, this one's kind of tough. I think it's this one. Oh, I was right. That one. This one. There you are. You hit the button, and that opens an iron door somewhere below. Relatively obvious. It is going to be this one right here. There'll be a cutscene. 
you get some stuff. It's awesome. And then... Once you've done all that... Again, really sorry about the construction. Once you get through all that... Let me eat my bread here. We're going to go back into the main room. Up some stair, yada yada yada, do this. All again. Do 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 do. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that much jada za. Jaya. So we're all cleared, so this entire portion of the dungeon's all cleared now. And we're going to the next little area. So there'll be a cutscene. There'll be a basically there'll be a defector from uh, the evil dude's army. For the life of me, I can never remember his name, even though I'm the one who did the trailer, and is doing the walkthrough. You'll he'll give you a lever. You hit the lever. You put the lever here. Hit the lever. Oh, there's free stuff all over the place. Remember, always explore around. Like even I forget this stuff. Even where I even forget to explore around a little bit. So you'll pull the lever, this will open you up into an entirely new area. There'll be stuff over here you have to kill. You'll kill it, it'll be metal as hell. There's a... Button around here somewhere. There's a button you'll have to hit. I don't remember where it's quite at. Oh, maybe this is it. But I can't remember, like, this is the button. No, you hit the button. It'll tell you, hey, there's stuff here. You open up that stuff. It should give you a key, I think. I think. I don't quite remember. If I already looted that. You place the you place the pressure plate here. You come in here. You kill what's ever in here. Then you're going to come into this room. Now, this is kind of tricky. Because you have these couple of buttons here. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh, nothing in here. Oh, what's this? There must be something in this room or a way I can get it. Well, flipping that lever, that did it passageway right here I already looted that oh crap did I accidentally throw no I didn't throw so now we're all caught up to where we need to be roughly where we need to be now this chest that chest is going to give you some arrows you're basically going to fire your arrow at a portion right I'm sorry text message came in you're going to fire your arrows at a button in there yeah, it'll pressure plate tells you. And that'll open up a chain gate. And now we're basically caught up to where I was roughly in the playthrough. I think I'm a little bit ahead of here, just a tiny bit. But we're definitely going to make some progress and certainly fight the boss here on this episode. Now, I do kind of apologize. Oh, yeah, 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 I should probably specify. There's some stuff in here. You climb up the ladder. This is how you get past the gate. Flip this. This will open up this iron door. And now we're back to here. There'll be a few things you gotta fight in here. No big deal. I have faith you guys can handle it. Now this is where I left off on my episode. Okay, yeah, I did that already. Now this is where I left off to my my last. This is where I left off. So now this is all new stuff that I can actually show you what's gonna happen. This room is evil because there'll just be random segments where there's lava. But if you do the old shift click. Or hold shift and just kind of do the shift shuffle, as I like to call it. The good old shift shuffle. You'll be fine. And we're through. Now we're all caught back up. Now, I don't even re quite remember. Oh. This room. Okay. This room is tricky. First off, let me get my stuff. Currency, that stuff. Alrighty. This room's kind of tricky. What does he say here? There are four, or are there more? One, two, three, four. There's actually more. There's actually more. He's referring to switches. I'm pretty sure you're going to need that one to open up. Now, there's a certain combination that we have to enter in here. Or a certain, just like some trial and error to actually get everything all opened up here. Okay, that didn't do it. Okay, we've almost got it here. Basically, it's just a lot of trial and error. Okay, 
What did it go? Dear God, I'm sucking. Okay, not quite the come. Not quite what I was aiming for. Okay, we did it. So, your combination. You need to hit this lever right here. And then I'm just going to kind of... From the right side, it's going to be up. Up. Down. Up, up, down, down. Beautiful. And... Button. Five buttons were placed back in the main corridor. I suppose we got to hit that. Now, I've, I'm well, this is one of the beta testers for this, and he changed up a few things in a and some different puzzles. Like, I think I said that in a previous... Ooh. In a previous video that he actually did that, or Mick did that. I think he switched them up because I had a lot of e ease uh, getting some of the items. Okay, that's all clear. We're good. I don't quite remember, like, 100% of this map, so some of this is going to be like, oh gosh, how do I solve this? So just kind of bear with me as I bumble through this. But we're actually... I'm actually just going to make this a little bit longer episode, and we're just going to clear out the boss. Again, I do apologize for deleting footage. Okay, there's five buttons back in this main corridor. Five buttons. Oh, five buttons. Crap. Oh. Okay, what happens if I do just do that? Oh. Okay, so I might have accidentally broken it there. <laughs> oh, just place that all with there. So what you can kind of do here is you kind of saw it. You just clear it out, then you can hit that button. Now here, if I remember correctly, is the most evil puzzle, in my opinion, in the entire game. This, this, one, this one took me a while. As you can see, there's invisible blocks and all that kind of stuff here. But our objective is to get... This sand block onto that pressure plate. I don't know if this does anything or it's just for aesthetics. I think it's just for aesthetics so I can see. And I'm okay with that. I am A-OK -okay with that. There we go. Oh, come on, light. Come on, frame rates. Come on. There you go. There you go, there, lobby. Okay. Yeah, that hasn't done too much for me here. Oh, here we go. I think I just got figured it out how I did this earlier. So we got to start getting this sand block moved. Now, these are all sticky pistons. Let's pull that sticky piston in here. Push. One more push. Or I might have messed that one up. There we go. I think that's what I need to do here. Okay, now what do I need to do? So now I need to... No, wait, maybe I did have that right. Push, push. I'm sorry for you poor people trying to keep up with me on this. I'm just kind of making this up as I go along at this point. Oh, I figured it out right here. I think I just figured it out. That's a good spot for that. Now check this one out. This one I thought was kind of cool. And then... Hmm? Why did that not power it up? Did I mess something up here? Did I break it? Oh, I hope I didn't break it. Are we getting interfering? How do I get that going? Oh god. Come on, I got this. I totally had this. I totally had this. Why do I not have this now? I'm an embarrassment to the wizarding world. No, that's what I need to do. I need to get it here. Oh, 
Okay, I don't know what I did, but I got it to work. So, bring it back in. Alright, this thing isn't interfering. We'll just try to do weird things here. Yay! I did it! I am the best ever. What do you think of my Kanye West rap? Pretty good, huh? Okay. Okay. You do you. Ah, oh, this map. Oh, I really hate this one. Pressure plate was placed. All right. This is a really awesome jumpy puzzle. Definitely varying degrees of painful, but still super awesome jumpy puzzle. Oh, and parkour. Mm, beast parkour ever. That opened the iron door, I think. Oh, cool. Free stuff. Nice. Oh, now I gotta go back. Now we have ended our little adventure in the parkour palace. Yeah, I did mix parkour puzzle, which if you guys... Oh, come on! Cut me some... Is that the only skeleton word? I think so. But yeah, Mick is, has a really awesome parkour map that implicate that does some of this stuff. Dear God, the construction is driving me mad. Hmm. TNT. Hello. Okay. Oh, that doesn't do anything for me. I think you guys will like this puzzle. So we got a TNT block here. I gotta get on the other side here. It's kind of... It took me a minute or two to figure out what you have to do with this one. I missed. Or it didn't catch fire. One of the two. I'll light this arrow on fire here. Albeit it's not lighting on fire. Come on, frame rates. Stick with me here. That's kind of strange. Yes, it doesn't light through that lava. Oh, come on, frame rates. There we go. Quit your whining and do your job. There we go. Shoot through some lava. Catch an arrow on fire. Hooray, I got experience. <gasps> the miner's pick. The chest talks. Oh, you got a pickaxe. Use it in cracked floors. Look for one of the king's guards near the piston room. Okay, I can do that. So this also opens up a whole variety of other stuff that you can... Oh, more free stuff. This pick will... I'm very, I'm fairly certain will also open up a large variety of um, things that you can actually do as side quests. There is also a, there's a couple different things. I'm not going to spoil it yet for those of you who are like following along on this first and then. Oh, there's the other skeleton warrior. I knew there wasn't just one. Oh, I'm, come on. Just die already. Jeez. Huh, rude. I need to go back for my other food source here. Hello, friend. Tam Tamrin. I can sell you a good sword if you have money. I was the guard of the Golden King's Chambers until Lord Skella invaded. I hide in here to escape one day. Yeah, there's a... There it is. I'll take your powerful sword. Why not?
There you go. Now this is the king's skeleton rapier. I don't think I've ever used it. I don't think I've ever bought this one. Oh, frame rates. Why do you insist upon doing this to me? Now we have all of our... This lighting up was... Like, that's kind of neat. I didn't notice that before. Now we have all of our stuff completed here. This is... That was the last piece of the puzzle was this miner's pick. Again, really sorry about the construction. My apologies. Make sure we have three inventory slots at least. Oh. Wait, that was... Okay, there we go. I'm not going to need any of you. I'll take one of you. You, I'll take. I'll take you. Pork chop, bread. I'll keep you right there. I'm going to need to buy more bread here. Okay. Like I said, we're going to get to the boss fight. Here it is. Now, this is actually a very cool setup, so check it out. Force. All right. So the king has sent you, has he? Well, you are no different than... This is Lord Skeller. The king has sent many to defeat me, and none have ever returned. He is foolish. How you will... Oh, good God. Oh, this sword is unbreaking. So remember how we got this unbreaking sword? I didn't even notice this before. Oh, that's cool. When I played through on... My playthrough... Oh, thank goodness. Here comes my most loyal servant, number one. For those of you who actually watched the trailer, this, I actually recorded this in a separate, like I beat the map on, like this is like the second time I played through the map. Third time I played through the map. I went through it and beat it once on mostly creative. And I got this, I got this boss footage. Oh, I can't pause. It doesn't pause. No, how did you beat my number one options? Oh, God. I underestimated you. Now I will take care of you myself. Oh, God. I am going to die here. Hopefully that did something. Oh, it did. Regeneration. Very nice. I'm actually very happy I bought this sword. Come on. Oh, he's almost dead. I did it. What do we get? I beat Lord Skillet. I beat Lord Skiller. The King's Gold Dungeon is once again safe. Lord Skiller got the blue orb and some boots when I defeated him. I should exit through the next room that opened up. So congratulations, guys. You have just cleared, if you're following along, you have at this point, we have at, dear Lord, English is not my first language. We have at this point just cleared the Gold Dungeon. There is one other portion we need to take care of. Ooh, stuff. I need to like be more observant when I look around here. Alrighty. Press. Here we go. King Cleric. Hello, who is it? Oh, it's you, Master. I knew. I thought I knew that voice. This is the ancient communication device. It was used by the Knights of Valor to communicate with one another. Hang on. The king wishes to tell you something. Do, do, do. Young Master, when you use these devices throughout your journey, you can press them to communicate with you. Then I can give you clues and sometimes guide you a little. I know it's dangerous, but I am counting on you to find the green orb and the enchanted crest. You should have the red and blue orb now, so you need to find some info on the green orb and its whereabouts. Right now, um, right now, right click the text on your wall to teleport out of here. When you are out of here, use your book and teleport to the Pumpkin Island, Sandy Cove area, and look for Bleaker's house? What? I'm a person in here? Yes, I I am actually I am actually an NPC in this game. Like I've Mick just like put me in here. He's like, I got the message from him. He's like, dude, I put you in. I was like, I already completed the quest. I laughed my ass off. So I am actually a person in this game. And in the next episode, when we come back from the next episode, we are actually gonna go and meet. We're gonna go meet me. So that's awesome. I it's kind of cool because I this game gets played by literally the last map got played by like thousands of people and they're gonna meet me in the game so you're gonna really see me meeting me in this game that i'm playing 
And this is the way out. Come on. Nice. He's very generous with the free stuff. Um, what else do I need to know here? Um, alrighty. So, guys, when we come back next time, I will... We're going to complete the... A portion of the side quest that I give out. But until then, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. <laughs>